one right hand seal. And this trailer here has uh, one, two, six, six lights on the side, the middle, front corner, two blinkers on the side. It's refrigerated. I got main plates on it, that's a little different. But I got a seal on there, so I can't really see what's in there. But I got a light out right here. That doesn't look good. Oh, it's something. 5306. But it looks like I got a partial load, and I gotta go to Minnesota and pick up the rest. Set for 35 degrees. It's a utility. Axles are again. I don't know the weight. I wish I could break that seal, but I gotta get over to another place to load. But that's weird how they put a chrome on one and not the other. I have to fix that light before I leave. Always something. All right, it looks like it's about 12,000 pounds. It's gotta have two load locks, it says. But I gotta go and deliver, so there's no doubt I gotta break the seal and see what's going on here. Everything else is good to go. I'm gonna pull this out a little bit so I can get to it. Okay, so it looks like zooming out. Looks like spare tire chain. That reefer tank looks pretty dirty. That chain on the spare tire doesn't look good. Let's see what this looks like inside. I gotta break this seal. All right, I got my two load locks. I didn't think that they would have it secure. <sighs> Always something. It's gonna be about three and a half hours to get there. And these are pickles, it looks like. Okay, I just used one. That should be all right. This floor, this needs to be swept out. But when I get over there, I have to sweep this trailer out. Can't have a refrigerator looking like that. It's gonna be clean. But now that I broke the seal, I gotta lock it now. I'm just gonna use one. Once you open the door like this, you gotta switch the reefer over to defrost mode. In the summertime, it's humid out. You gotta put it on defrost mode. That's a big stickler for these reefers. You'll really have a block of ice if you don't do that. I gotta get this back on. Okay. That chain was unhooked. It was just dangling. Now I got it hooked up. That just looks good now. That's a big DOT hit. If you don't do that, tires are already bumped. Gotta, everything's locked now. Everything's all about this light here. I gotta take this out and get that repaired. <sighs> Let's see here. It's all about getting out of here real quick. Dang it, and stuff like that. Other than that, I put the reefer on defrost. Anytime you open the doors in the summertime, you want to put on defrost. And that's the defrost button there. Except for continuous. No, oh, I'm sorry, uh, cycle mode, century cycle. And you can see the water dripping out. That's when you open the doors. You always want to pinch those hoses. I haven't, I haven't pulled this one. But I have to check the belts and check the oil and do all that when I get over there. But you gotta pinch these hoses to get all the dirt out. 
big stickler that drivers don't do is to keep pinching those defrost hoses. But yeah, when you open the doors like that, you gotta go with defrost. You can see all that condensation went on there. It's a big uh, refrigerated unit. So you want really want to take care of it. But it sounds really good. It's actually a thermal king. It's purring pretty good. You want to make sure the doors are shut real good. Other than that, I'm going to go to Minnesota. I'm just going to barely make it there. And then I'll go ahead and do a full service on this. But uh, really concerned they put parking lights here. Yeah, they got parking lights here on the blinkers. That's one, two, three. And then the one in the back, there's nothing on there. I think that's an oddball. So it's only six aside, except blinkers have parking lights. All right, that's a, that's a little different. All right, let's go to Minnesota. All right, I'm in Winona, Minnesota. It's supposed to be here at four in the morning. Got here at 10. It looks like they're gonna load me. They're, they have nothing to do. It's about 11 o'clock at night right now. And it's all about getting it here with no hours, so. Just driving less than five miles an hour into the loading dock here. And then I gotta drive back to the parking area. Gotta stay there till eight in the morning. But they're gonna load me really quick here. But there's not, nobody here. It's like a feed plant here. That's all this place is. It's really quiet. I'm trying to figure out where to park and I gotta stall for eight hours. And then I gotta shoot over to Iowa, Coilville, Poyle, Iowa, and drop this off at US Foods. Looks like it's 11 a.m. appointment. So, I gotta make sure I do that right. This is their, their lock there. Well, uh, the reefer is set for 35. They said it's all right to have it in there for refrigerated. It's all waiting for the green light and sign my bills and get a parking space till eight in the morning. Okay, I'm at U.S. Foods in Coralville, Iowa. We'll see if they take me. It's about 12:30. They stop receiving at one. But. If not, I'll probably drop the trailer off here and grab an empty, but we'll see. A lot of hurry up and wait in this business. But with my hours, it's the best I could do is now. The appointment's at 11, but they're open till one, so I will see what they got for me. It's all about customer relation now. Receiving. Alright. Okay, they're closed, so I gotta drop the trailer off and pick up the empty somewhere. But it's all about seeing if the trailer is uh, full when it comes to the reefer field. This works out. this trailer it's actually the last spot these locals are coming back all right this is set for uh, century cycle 
and I got uh, just above a half a tank, so that should be good. Put the bills in here. I gotta take a picture. Okay, got done doing all the pictures. I gotta go to Fairfield, Iowa, and pick up a empty trailer over there to start bobtailing. When you're bobtailing, you gotta make sure that the airbags are all adjusted. Dumping it's always very important. But that way it's balanced. If not, you'll be spinning tires until it finally does level out. And make sure that your air lines and your wiring harness is connected perfectly. If not, it'll come down and you run it over and it'll rip everything apart. But let's go to Fairfield, Iowa. Alright. I'm over here at a, a hotel. This is sort of weird. I'm here to pick up this empty. It's 53523. Of course, I gotta replace these landing seals. This is really bad. Oops. Oops. Alright, replace that. Landing gear, I gotta bring that up. It's the main thing I came in here, but going out will be really different. These tires, that looks like a different color, so it'll be black. But these are the ones where they fill up the tires. It's an old utility. I got a mirror here. It was raining. Huh. Got something in here. A water. Looks like some plastic. And some kind of part over there. Oh, got some parts here too. They use this trailer for something. I'll bring this one back. Uh -huh. Five, three, five, two, three. Of course, it's got these hooks on the side. This is sad. Get that out of there. Got skirts. All ready to go to California. Rusty rim in the back. It's pretty straight. Got some patches over here. Yeah. Huh, that looks recent. Alright, let's see if I can get out of here. This looks like an old hotel. It's like Comfort Inn or something. But you can see my dilemma is getting trapped in here. But this looks pretty well closed. I can always come around and swing around here. Oh, I can go out there. But yeah, this, this place is no more. This one called is for lease. It's a cafe. But yeah, it was Comfort Inn. Restaurant space. Got some cars here. But I could use this open area here to swing it all the way around and go out of that road there. If I take a left and another left, it takes me to the lights versus right here waiting. Oh, that's too bad. I wonder why they had this park. Must have delivered something over here by the, the shed or something weird. 
But it's Friday, 3, 3.30 in the afternoon. I got a five and a half hour drive to get this back to the yard. So I might get there about 9.30 or so. Never ending. Light hand seals. Get some air in the system, see how everything works out with lights. Okay. Big light hand seals, that looks a lot better. Okay, let's get back to the yard. It'll be late at night. Well, well, well. They had me go and pick up a load here. This is their national papers. And they won't touch me until probably after six. They said night shift's gotta come in. But I've been here before. Um, this is Cedar Rapids. And just got through, through the rush hour traffic. It's five o'clock at it, and so it's pretty busy out there. But I got squeezed through there in the back, and then uh, you got railroad tracks all along here, and you got to squeeze into the store. It's really hard to do, and uh, it's all about blindsiding it in. Well, if you really do the approach right, it's not as bad. But but all the stuff I see in the back of the trailer, I got to get that out of there. That's a big mess I gotta do before I even go back there. But I'm looking for a dumpster or something so I can throw that bag in there. But that's the biggest thing I have to worry about is cleaning this up because I was scheduled just to take it back to the yard. But picking this up at that um, that uh, hotel or something, Comfort Inn, I noticed that there's a lot of stuff back here. Yeah, I got some stuff here and this bag. I got some other belongings in here that shouldn't be here. And I gotta blow it all out. You see, I got this plastic bag. I got this, this is full. Some kind of chemicals. Yeah, it's all chemicals or something in that bottle of water here. And then blow everything out so you can see how quick I had to get this all done. This is going to be a big headache, but it's got to be done. Well, <clears throat> this is some kind of cleaner, maybe. But if I can get it done real quick, it's all about finding a dumpster. I'm hoping I can get it done before I really make a a scene here because it's all about getting to that dock but he told me that night shift's just coming in so it might be about an hour so I might have a chance to try to get all this out of here what a headache okay they gave me a door right away but the night shift is gonna start in about an hour so that's good door night the axles I had to clean up all that stuff got it in the passenger floor right now until I find a dumpster to throw all that in but what are you gonna do I'm gonna blow it all out there was so much trash in there but it's all clean now you can't really start a different route a new route when it comes to uh, the last route you got to clean up you can't run a business that way so this is door nine. You can see how hard it is when you come in. You, this is all the room you have. And you have to go in real hard and then cut it and then uh, do a J where you uh, go to the left. So it's all your approach is getting close to the door, taking a right all the way to the railroad tracks and take a left and then you just uh, jostle it right in. But you're pretty close to the railroad tracks. It's hard, winter time's a little tricky. I haven't been here since. Uh, there was snow on the ground, so it's much different here when it comes to August. But it's all about her different way now, and then to me it's better because the traffic's all, or you can see that's 380 right there in Cedar Rapids. And that's the traffic on 380. I take 151 all the way up to Wisconsin to Madison, right up to the yard. 
Well, that's how that works here. And then, uh, yeah, when I get done, it should be um, probably about 7 at night. I try to get out of here and see if I have any hours to get to uh, the yard. I might have to do a two-hour sleeper berth. It should be pretty tight. Well, this is what you get here at International Paper. Looks like cardboard. It's pretty light. And threw a load back on it. Should be alright. It's all about getting paperwork. And I got the seal already. And it took a while for them to unload. I mean, to load me in. Alright, that's good to go. What to do is get my pin, slide the axle back. It's almost two hours, but I did make it on my sleeper berth, so I have to do that again. Now back at the yard. I gotta drop this trailer off. I'm all done. Five, three, five, two, nine, uh, three. Five, three, five, two, three. Two glad hand seals. That looks a lot better. Eventually, all of them will be switched. But I got a short weekend. It's Saturday now. I couldn't make it back because they wanted me to go to Cedar Rapids and pick up a load. And that's in this trailer right now. And I gotta go to Des Moines. I gotta be there. Let's see, it's 53079 is the trailer. Oh, that's way over there. I'll have to check that out. Well, that's John Deere parts I usually take to this place in Des Moines. I have to be there about 8 o'clock in the morning. Well, down to this trailer. there. It's utility. I'll pick this trailer up. In uh, Iowa. I had a lot of stuff in there. I had to find a dumpster to dump it all out before. I loaded this cardboard, but it was a lot of stuff in there, and it turned out to be a big mess. I even had to blow out everything in there, but it's all cleaned out. Well, it's all right. Uh, utility pulled pretty good. Too bad the tires are all screwed up. I would never have it done that way, but I didn't have it that long. When I have a trailer for a long time, I usually clean it all up. So it looks really sharp. Mud flaps are all oddball. Well, it's bought and paid for. It makes money. It's a good workhorse. All right. It's all about dropping the paperwork off. I go over there and see how this trailer is doing. See if it needs some attention and then park over to the tractor area get my bags out and go home for my night come back sunday night it's all about getting a 36 hour five three zero seven niner looks like a newer one 21 it's only two years old that's nice Looks straight, hasn't been beaten up except for this corner. Glad hand seals look good. Yeah, that corner got hit. It's only two years old. No gashes on the side. That's nice. Looks like a Stoughton trailer. Huh. Let's see what this looks like inside. Yeah, it's that John Deere stuff. That looks pretty loose. I'll tighten that when I hook it all up. 
but it smells new. That's nice. Nice to pull a new trailer. This spider didn't like me. There you are. Didn't like the door opening like that. You creepy crawly. Oop. Watch them, no bite you. Oh uh, well. All right, well, get the tractor over to the tractor parking area. That looks like a straight trailer. Mud flaps look a little weird. Oh well. Okay. Back at the tra tractor parking area. More peaceful, nice and quiet. Looks like it's 1.41 in the afternoon. So I get to leave at 11.41 in the evening. That's about five and a half, six hour drive to Des Moines. Everything's looking good. This mud flap always pushes out. This one goes in, the other one goes out. It's all in one piece, it was a good week. It's a lot easier in the summer than the winter time. But you'll see it'll get more adventurous in the winter. All the different drama you have to go through. Right. After 36 hours, it's a 24 plus 10. And then I can shoot over to Des Moines. So the plan of that, say midnight, you get there about 5.30, and then you do a two hour sleeper berth. And you sleep there for two, two and a half hours, and then you get unloaded, and then you can at least have another five and a half hours through working. Let's see what they do on a Monday. Well, it's never ending. Looks like my pickup truck survived. You can tell if it rains or not. There's a puddle. Well, you gotta have a top of cover in Wisconsin. If not, your bed will rust out. Alright, you have a nice rest of the weekend as much as I.